Hey, and welcome to Girl Be Free, a podcast designed to help women get unstuck and cultivate the life you want on your terms. I'm Siobhan, your host, and I'm passionate about empowering women to live their best life. Each week, you'll hear pep talks that will inspire and push you to take action so you too can start to be free and live the life you want. You can learn more about me at BeFreeProject.com. Now let's jump into the show. This episode of the Girl Be Free podcast is being sponsored by the Be Free Inner Circle, an exclusive online community where positive, like-minded women gather, connect, support, and learn how to cultivate the life they deserve. The Be Free Inner Circle membership includes live monthly group coaching calls and office hours, master classes and workshops that will cover topics such as consistency and discipline, self-care, and creating a vision for your life, just to name a few, a resource library where you can print out articles, worksheets, and workbooks, a book club so that we have a space to discuss some of our favorite books, and the most important part is accountability and community support from women who are on the same wavelength as you and that are on a similar path who wants to be free. And a bonus feature, every member of the Be Free Inner Circle will have access to my live, in-person, monthly Be Free meetups where you'll be able to view live stream right from your computer screen. So I know you're excited and you want to be a part of the Be Free Inner Circle. So don't worry, I got you covered. Just go to BeFreeInnerCircle.com to learn more and sign up today. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode. It is late Monday night, November 13th, and I figured I would hop on here and talk about how to know if you are stuck. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this tonight is because I get asked often two questions. How do you know if you're stuck? And then what do you do if you are stuck, right? And so the reason why I talk about this so much is because I was stuck for a long time and I know what it feels like to just be going through the motions. And the crazy thing is I was stuck in my life for 17 years and I did not know I was stuck until I, after going through therapy and I was just reflecting back on the things that had happened, I'm like, wow, I was in that mental state for a very long time. And so that is why I'm so passionate about this topic and helping women to really get unstuck and get clear about what they want so they can cultivate the life that they desire is because I know what it feels like to be stuck, but then I also know what it feels like to know what you want for your life and then start to cultivate a life that feels good inside and out. So I've been in all spaces, as I've said before. I do not have it all together. I am still working and growing, but I do know that I am no longer stuck. And so I'm going to share some things that I feel um, will help you if you're in this mental space. And let me say this before I share. I do not have all the answers. I do not claim to know all the answers. I am just sharing my perspective and my opinions. So if this works for you, great. If it doesn't, that's fine as well. But again, I'm just sharing what um, I know to be true. And then you may hear me sip on my tea. I'm drinking a self-care tea tonight. So you may hear me take a little pause because I'm drinking my tea. All right. So number one, um, how to know if you are stuck. You stay in a funk. No matter what, you cannot shake it. And you feel like blah. And I know you know what that feels like because I've been there where nothing is going on in your life. Um, You have no get up and go. Um, you lack motivation and you've tried, but you just cannot shake it. And you feel like you just cannot get out of this mental block or rut that you're in. That's number one. Number two, you do not know what you want for your life. And trust me, that is not uncommon. There are so many people that I talk to on a day-to-day basis that have no clue what they want for their life. So there's no clarity, um, there's no goals, no vision for their life, nothing that they're passionate about, and definitely there's no purpose. And when you don't know what you want for your life, it is easy to feel like you're stuck. Um, So that's number two. 
Number three is you start and stop over and over and over again. So you have a new idea and you get so excited about it and you start putting all your energy into it and then you stop. And then there's another new idea or another new project and you put all your energy into it and then you stop and you repeat this cycle over and over again where you start and stop, you start and stop and you lack follow through. That goes back to number two, where you don't know what you want. So you're constantly doing all this different stuff, but because there's no vision and no clarity for your life, you just keep repeating that cycle over and over again. Number four, you feel like you lost yourself. So let me share a little story with you. Um, I was in that space where I felt lost. Um, And it was back um, when my children were young. And I, I was a mom of two, married, going to work every day, all that jazz. But I felt lost. So the person that I used to be, I no longer was. But then becoming a mother, I felt like a part of me was missing. So it was this weird in-between stage where I really didn't know who I was. And I knew I couldn't go back to the old me because I had children and I was a wife. So I had new life experiences, but I knew I wanted more for my life than the roles that I had to play. And so I felt lost um, and I felt like I was just going through the motions. I was stuck. I was frustrated. Um, I was overwhelmed. And it was just a mental space that just did not feel good to me. Number five is you consistently compare your life to others. What do I mean? So social media is a blessing, but it can also be a curse because so many people are looking at the highlight reel of what other people are sharing and it makes them feel like they're not good enough. So you're constantly seeing someone get married or having a baby or they launched a business or now their business is making six figures or they just got another promotion and you know, just all of the great things that you're watching other people share. And because you feel stuck in your life is making you feel like you're not good enough. And so that causes you to feel stagnant um, because of the comparison or being envious or jealous of what other people have going on in their life. Next or number six is And don't worry, I'm going to share some positive things or some things that you can do um, if you feel stuck. So don't you worry. I just want to point out a few more things. Um, Number six is you are drained by negative energy. So it can be you yourself that has a pessimistic view on life, or maybe it's the people that are around you on a day-to-day basis, whether friends, your family, maybe coworkers, where their energy is so negative. And there's a quote by Jim Rowan that says, you become like the five people you spend the most time with. With that being said, if the people that you spend the most time with are negative, that means that energy is pouring over into you, which will cause you to feel stuck in your life. And then you won't have anything going on. And then we all know, or we've all heard misery loves company. And it's hard to break away from that. If everyone in your circle is attracting that same type of energy. And then lastly, number seven is you're not the person that you thought you would be. So whether you're in your thirties, your forties, your fifties, or your sixties, shoot, maybe even seventies, the space that you're in today is not where you thought. So going back to the last podcast that I did on dreaming, um, where you've had these dreams or these ideas or these goals when you were younger, and at some point life shifted and the dreams that you had, you no longer have them. They have been suppressed so far down inside. And so now you're in this space where you thought you would have all these things going on in your life, but yet you have none of that. And so it's causing you to feel stuck in your life because you're not where you wanted to be, but you cannot figure out how do you move forward? How do you embrace this new chapter of your life? And how do you get out of this funk that you're in? So those are all ways that I feel how to know if you're stuck, right? And so now I'm going to share a few things that will help you begin to shift the direction of your life. Number one, 
I would say if you feel stuck, I want you to start to journal and really start to get your thoughts out of your head and down on paper. Um, I've been journaling since I was 14 years old and no, I don't journal every single day. Um, and no, I don't journal only when bad things are going on in my life or what have you. Um, but it's perfect for me to reflect and get these thoughts and my emotions and my feelings and all that jazz is helpful to get it down on paper. And when you do that, you can reflect back over your life and see, okay, these are some areas that I need to grow in. Maybe you've been dealing with something for so long and it's time to shake it. And because you haven't kept track of it, you don't even realize how long you've been in that situation. So journaling just allows you to, again, get your thoughts on paper. For me, it has been a form of therapy um, and it's how I've been able to heal from some things from my past. So I highly recommend that you start to journal and just whatever you're feeling, write it down on paper. So if you feel stuck or you feel empty, you feel lost, you feel like you're in a funk, start to write these things down so that you can begin to track, okay, what has caused you to feel this way? What have you experienced? And then what actionable steps you need to take to begin to move forward. But if you don't keep track of that, it's going to be very hard to even identify that you're stuck and then how you need to push forward to start growing. So that's number one. Number two, unplug from social media. If you feel stuck in your life, if you lack clarity, you definitely want to pull back from social media so that you can spend time pouring into yourself. It's going to be very hard if you've all if you're constantly watching what everyone else is doing. It's going to make you feel getting your feelings, right? So, unplug from social media whether you do it for 30 days, maybe a weekend, a few days, what have you, but start to unplug and look within and start to figure out how to move forward in your life. And then lastly, reach out to your support system. So you'll be surprised if you reach out and share with your close friends or family, or even maybe some of your online friends, Hey, I'm feeling stuck right now. I'm lacking motivation. Um, this typically happens this time of year and I'm trying to figure out how do I shake it, right? Reach out to your friends so that they can begin to inspire you, to encourage you, maybe share some resources that can be helpful, um, to help you start to get out of the mental negative space that you're in. Let me say this at any point in your life, you can change, you can shift the direction Um, just because you feel stuck today, it does not mean this is how your life is always going to be. I am speaking from experience. Um, There was a point where I felt like my life was never going to change, that I would just be in this negative mindset forever. And it wasn't until I started doing this inner work um, and embracing my journey and just figuring, figuring out all these different things that I started to see a shift. And it didn't happen overnight. It has been a process that I am still... Oh my goodness, I am still working through. And it gets hard. I'm telling you, it gets really hard. But the what I know to be true for me is that I know that I'm in purpose. I know that there's a calling on my life. I know that there is a vision that's bigger than me that I have to fulfill. And so even in my moments of darkness or sadness or overwhelm or whatever I'm having or experiencing, Um, I know that there's a bigger purpose and that I'm not going to be in this space forever. So that is what I want to share with you to encourage you to start to figure out what does it mean to be free? Like I talked about in the first episode, if you feel stuck, now it's time to identify in the area, identify those areas and start to move forward. Um, So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I do want to give you an action step, as I always say. And I have something on my website called the Clarity Roadmap, which is a five-day free email course for anyone who feels stuck. If you lack clarity and you just need a guide, so to speak, of how to start to move forward in your life, the Clarity Roadmap, again, is a free email course that I would love for you to take advantage of. I'm going to drop the link in the show notes so that you can um, take action on that. And then make sure you tweet me or 
come hang out in the Facebook group and let me know how the um, email course is helping you. And then also a few people have reached out to me asking how can they donate or support the programming, my vision. They just wanted to pour into me in some kind of way. First of all, if that's you, thank you. Um, and then you can definitely donate. So I have a link in the show notes that if you want to do that, feel free. Um, it's a button right on my website that you'll be able to take action on. And I think that's all for today. So thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, girl, be free. Thank you so much for listening. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling really fancy, go ahead and leave a review. Until next time, be free and live.